Hello, friends and fellow head scratchers. We're going to try our hand at Interactivity, the Interactive Experience, an exhibition by Etheric Games. Uh, thank you to the developer for a copy of the game. We're, I'm very intrigued by this. There's mentions of the Stanley Parable and David Lynch, so we'll see how it goes. So uh, this might be creepy. I, I have no idea. I have not played through yet, but we will find out. It's not a very long game, uh, from what I understand. But it's, uh, as you know, with the Stanley Parable, it's we're going to be in for something uh, interesting if it, it has that vibe at all. Oh, we've got a radiator. Well, you, you, can't, uh, you can't have a David Lynch vibe without a radiator, can you? Now, I, I do not know. Oh, we can squat right down. Intriguing. Okay, what is, uh, what's going to happen here? Can we do anything with this? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's stand up like a normal human again. Now, the, in the intent is basically that there is a button Oop. Um, somewhere. And, uh, I, okay. I guess that, that one didn't want to turn on. Okay, can any of these, do any of these turn on? Or are they, okay. Or do I have to hit the button down here? Is that a thing? I don't think so, no. Okay, it just wants to look at the screen. I feel like I'm in a bank, instead of more than even just a curator or a gallery space. Okay. So I'm guessing we're basically in a, uh, oh, is this manager's office? Well, or is it locked? Is that the idea? Hmm, all right. Featuring the button. Please enjoy your visit. All right, so we tried to, <laughs> we, we mangled with the lobby. So let's find out what's going on with this place. Welcome to Interactivity, the interactive experience featuring the button. Please enjoy your visit. Please enjoy your visit. Okay. Gallery one, levers. Levers, gallery one. The lever was invented by the Greek mathematician Archimedes as a means of getting in and out of his bathtub. These days, levers are used to apply pressure in a range of situations and provide diverse ways of interacting with your environment. Why not try a few? Oh. Why not try a few? That sounds like uh, great fun. So I suspect, I reading uh, the, or glancing at the, the reviews um, or comments people had laughed, it, there's a, uh, a, I think, the, the portal-ish aspect to some of these. The light lever. Did you know a switch is actually just a tiny lever? <laughs> Isn't that nice? A switch is just a tiny lever. Okay, so I'm assuming we can we can turn this one on. I'm going to switch over to keyboard here. Very nice. Okay, what do we have going on here? We have a lot of different switches. Now there's some diagrams on the wall. What, should I look at these? Oh, it's just going to diagram how the... The lever works. I see. This is nice. Is this? It's like patent diagrams for a railway switching device. Anything going on back there? No. Oh, a special lever. Levers don't only go up and down or forward and back. This one goes side to side. Isn't that weird? Hmm. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Let's find out what. And we got a noise. Okay. What, what does this one do? Now, is one of these going to control this door or something? Or am I... Let's find out what this one does. What do you do? I've tried them all now. Is it possible to get all of them before the other ones go down? I don't think it is. I hope it isn't. I don't have to do that, do I? I have a feeling like I have to do that. Still nothing? Nothing with the radiators? Okay, good. Weavers don't only go up and mm -hmm. down, or forward and back. This one goes side to side. How about I push it this way? Yeah, I don't know what that's doing. No. I like the idea that on the, the first screen here. A switch is actually just a tiny 
Okay, so there's got to be something to do with... Oh, okay, we, what do we have here? We have four windows on that side, four windows on that side, and we have a vent up here. Okay, so how about we try... There we go. Okay, so we had to be relatively quick. There's no way I was going to be able to do that just with a gamepad. Okay, so that's, there we go. We've we've succeeded at pulling levers, valves. Plumbers disagree over who first created the device. We now know is the valve. Some experts propose they were created in the Victorian era as a steampunk motif. Many people think they were left behind by ancient aliens. These days, you can find them all over your home, even your own kitchen sink. These days, you can find them all over your Okay, let's, uh, let's go find out what, uh, what's up with the world of valves. I don't think I'm going to like this world. Oh, a little steamy valve. Safety valve. Valves like this one are commonly used to shut off deadly steam to allow you to safely pass through factories and sewers. Don't worry, this is just normal steam. Not the deadly kind. Not the video game kind. Okay, let's... Uh, so, righty-tighty. Do you want to let all this out? Oh, that's as wide open as we go? Okay, I don't know. Maybe we've we've wrecked it. So we've got some more diagrams here. Looks like a uh, robot doing uh, nefarious things. It's going to cause trouble to everyone. Okay, what do we have here? Light valve. Did you know? Switch is actually just a tiny valve that controls the flow of electricity. Oh, good. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a clock that shows us I don't know, do we turn each valve to that time? Oh, interesting. Am I trying to make the shadow and the the valves work in unison in some way? No, the time seems to be moving exceedingly fast. There's a thing on the outside. Oh gosh, I'm already feeling stupid. Okay, and we did it. I don't know how we did that. So we were trying to line up. It seems like we lined up this thing and this thing and this thing all in the same thing. That's good. <laughs> all right, so here's a good point to stop and think. Okay, what is this game uh, asking? This experience, I should probably call it. What is it asking of us? What is it asking us to do? So we've hit switches and valves. So it's asking us... Uh, even suggesting something about uh, Steam, downloading games, the environment, the pressing of buttons, the doing of things. This way for the button. Very good. Okay. Let's do it. And we're going to find out that we, we probably can't do anything with the button. Ooh. Keypads. The keypad is the height of interaction technology. Combining multiple inputs in one device allows interaction engineers to keep their secrets away from greedy eyes and gate your progression into restricted areas. Can you crack the code? Yes, it's true. Gating. Oh, you gotta love uh, doors that gate your progression. They're my, my, all the joy. So I feel like these are going to be griefing me at some point. I'm going to have to have, have used my brain to figure these things out. I, I just want there to be hidden things back here. No, nothing, nothing hiding back here, but there is a door. Is it locked? Okay, they can't, I just can't smash the door in. That's fair. I like it. Uh, Okay, so this is the other one. All right, we're locked in here till we figure this out. Imagine going to a real gallery and this is like what happens. Oh boy. <laughs> this is sometimes what video games do feel like though. When when I Okay, well let's read this one. Future keypad. This is the cutting edge of keypad technology. In the future, keypads like this one will secure every door on spaceships, moon bases, and municipal buildings. It's a calculator. Enter password. Oh.
Interesting, so something five. Five, it's interesting it keeps showing me fives and I don't know what I'm supposed to do with those fives. You can't help but, okay, or is that just a result of me? No idea. Okay, well, we're, we're worried about that in a second. Oh no, a map of things. What is this? Hmm. I don't even understand what that is. <laughs> is that a Jacquard loom? Is that a differential engine? I don't know what it is. It's just stuff. It's things that have little things and arms and I, my brain hurts. Safety keypad. Until 2013, it was mandatory for keypad numbers to be printed in smudgeable ink. This was a safety measure that allowed locksmiths to open any keypad by observing what buttons have been frequently pressed. Maybe this keypad belongs to a heavy metal enthusiast. So, four. Until 2013, it was mandatory for keypad numbers to be printed in... So you look at smudged four, uh... Oh, no, sorry, six, 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 six. Observing what buttons had been frequently pressed. Maybe That's funny, okay. So I wonder if, uh, our keypad over here... Keypad technology. In the future, keypads like this one will secure every door on spaceships, No. Bases, and How about, uh... H E. That's our other heavy metal. So I don't think our door has opened. No. So we've been given a clue. Oh, there's things here. Okay. Oh, lovely. Look at this. Oh, intriguing. Okay. So what would I be looking at? We've got one through nine with a tilde. What does that mean? And, uh, oh, we got two sets of windows here. So we've got a total of eight. Is the tilde reset? Okay, maybe not. Uh, eight. Oh no, that was seven, oops. Okay, I can hit four numbers. Hmm. This is a good one. Okay, why would I want to hit any specific stream of things? Until 2013, it was mandatory for keeping hmm. to be printed in smudgeable. Observing the numbers rubbed off. Well, this one only had a six rubbed off, but what do I do with that information? How does that information help me? And this one here. Did you know a switch is actually just a tiny keypad with only two digits, one and zero? I guess that's true, isn't it? It's just binary. Now, that door is unlocked. Um, hmm. I do feel like these things, are, like, are these red herrings or did these have some bearing on things? I've got a complicated set of gears. It looks like a watch. That's what that looks like. So I don't know what that would be. Um... Until 2013, it was mandatory for keypad numbers to be printed. In you could just write the answer on the back of one of these. That would be that would be helpful. No. Until 2013. It was just trying to observe the space and to see if there's anything meaningful in the space itself. And what would okay if we start over at one here, and we look at this thing, we have. It's not quite a clock, is it? It's got uh, two, four, six, eight, ten placements. I guess, is this like a gear setting? And we've, uh, you know, six is up there. And then, I see, here's, I don't know where I'd go after this. No. I think we'll know. It'll let us know when we've actually hit the right thing. There's enough values here, though, that I'm not going to randomly end up getting the thing. So um, I, I could try to do things that add up to six, which would be one, two, three, with the tilde. 
because it would be three and six, but that's not it. Um, hmm. Let's go look back at all of our evidence on the walls here. Okay, so this is, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So this is a, a, a wider string of things. Oh, we got two, four, six, eight, one, three, five, seven. Okay, let's try that. Two, four, six, eight, one, and then we'll go odd. Two, four, six, eight. No. How about oh, we'll go odd? One, three, five, seven. No, because that would we'd want actually another digit there, wouldn't we? Um, three, five, seven, nine, and four, six, eight. Tilda. Huh. What other ways would we want to slice ten numbers? I do not know. Again, this thing, I, I feel like I I need to figure something out here. We're in gallery three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just looking at the placement of these things. And the, the keypad here is the opposite way. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Huh. It was mandatory for keypad numbers. And I don't know exactly what this thing is doing. I don't know what that is. So I don't know if that's going to be helpful information or not. So we haven't given a heck of a lot <laughs> to work with here. Um, hmm. What else could we try? Yeah, and if you can't make like a, an ordered thing. I mean, there's no, it's all kind of chaos, isn't it? Yeah, no. Is there any, no, there's no writing above the door or anything. I'm, not, I'm just making sure I'm not missing anything super obvious that it's like sticking out in front of me. I love that we're sent into this gallery with basically like a headlamp. And these radiators still, they're just radiators. Hello. No, nothing significant. Hmm. Well, I am stumped, I feel like. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, I think I'm going to stop here. This seems really early in the, the whole thing, the stream of things. And I'm going to think on this one because uh, otherwise I'm just a monkey hitting random keys on a typewriter hoping to actually figure out how to write Shakespeare. I, I don't know how to do that. I'm intrigued. This is a very odd little thing. I, I do like these kind of meta experiences that are not, it's not a game itself. And it is a commentary on the idea of games. The idea of how we are put into spaces and choose to... Um, find our way through, get through these gated progressions that it seemed kind of arbitrary. Like the joke that, you know, how many games where you, you have these huge hulking weapons and yet a small door stops you, or you can't climb over a tiny rock. Uh, this sort of thing drives me kind of crazy in games, and I think as, as it does with most people. But then we submit ourselves to the seemingly kind of, this. it's not arbitrary, but a system that's been built for us to navigate through, like a little mouse going through to get the cheese, whatever the cheese is. And we're trying our best to press these little cheese-shaped blocks right here. And I don't know. I like the pedestal, though. I like the excessiveness of this. It's like this whole game environment is all marble and, and you know, nice little plants in the corner and sitting. But it's so formal and so cold and so uninviting. And, you know, we got a little bit of lighting, but really our, our primary lighting is this natural lighting that's barely coming in we seem to be in some sort of basement almost it's just kind of a an unpleasant space really and we're trying to figure out these sort of ridiculous arbitrary puzzles i'm going to keep at this i'm curious this is very much piqued my interest i i can't promise i'm going to be at all good at this i may just have to look up what this is i'm going to think about it a little while and if i give up i'll just look it up because i don't think it matters 
I think it's just an intriguing space, and I, I want to get to press the big red button. We'll take a break here, though, and we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>